Well, hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are making a recipe in this mug, this very mug that I have bought specifically for this video. You're welcome. Feeling very English actually, uh, although I don't like tea as most of you guys know, but today we are attempting to make a pizza in a mug. I'm keeping it quite simple today because um, my camera lens broke if you saw in the last gadget video. So we've got his younger brother, we're just borrowing it for a little bit until my other one's fixed. Hopefully this recipe will taste good though. I mean, I'm not gonna try and mug you off and uh, maybe you'll want a pizza of it. Pizza of it. Let's do it. Two of the most important things you are gonna need for this is a mug. Make sure it is microwave safe. That's why I had to go buy one because all my other ones are not microwave safe. It would have and also, with it being a microwave, you need a microwave. Yeah, that's 800 watt microwave. If your microwave is more powerful than that, you might need to just cook it a little less. Ding, ding. So this microwave pizza, you can do any topping you want. We're going for uh, chorizo because they couldn't find small pepperoni and mushroom. Uh, any topping you want, but also we need to do the base. So we'll do that first. One of my favorite gadgets ever are these, uh, I think they're called spoons, uh, like leveling measuring spoons. Uh, and you can sort of wipe it like a windscreen wiper, right? Now, as I need five tablespoons, I'm just gonna just show you anyway. Okay, that's about a quarter of a tablespoon plus one. Draw it in there, okay? So we go for five tablespoons of plain flour. And then like a half to bring it up to the five. Nice. Keeping up so far? The spoons don't go that small. So this is an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. And this is an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, bicarbonate of soda. Uh, in comes our model Boston, just to add a little salt. And the real Boston is just down there at the moment, chilling out. They're absolutely knackered. I just took them for a long walk. So this is a tablespoon of olive oil. In that goes. You could use vegetable oil, sunflower oil, pug oil. One tablespoon of milk. Two tablespoons of milk, three tablespoons of milk. You can drink the rest or put it on your cereal. Just gonna mixy mix that together. Nice. See there's little bits of uh, flour right at the bottom hiding away there. Make sure you don't just mix the surface. Get it all topped there. If you wanted to go crazy, you could put some herbs in it. Try and do a stuffed crust. You could put some cheese in it, then put an extra layer of this in the middle so it gets baked into the middle of it. Oh, the possibilities are endless, but just make sure it's a big, sort of thick, consistent white Play-Doh like that. Burr. Okay, on top, boom. <laughs> Straight on top of the batter is a tablespoon of marinara sauce, which is just gonna push around. So you can see that it's all gonna cook together the baking soda and bicarbonate soda will rise that crust up, like levitate. So next up is some mozzarella cheese. This is grated mozzarella, folks, all right? Gonna make it taste great. I'm going all out, making it really cheesy. All right, so on top, got some mushrooms. As I say, anything you wanna put on here, really, guys. And this is some chorizo. Gee, yeah, that'll do. Little sprinkle of basil on top. Oh yeah, it certainly smells like a pizza, but all we need to do now is put that in the microwave. All right, I'm gonna go for 90 seconds in my 800 watt microwave. Um, if yours is more powerful, as I say, maybe start at about a minute and just keep your eye on it. What we wanna do is probably gonna rise up. If it goes too high, just open the door and keep doing it in blast. It's all about getting that cooking time and the height right. It's spinning around in there, folks. All right, I'm gonna keep my eye on this. Oh, things are happening. Can you see it in there, folks? It's rising up. This is good. I think we're gonna hit that 90 seconds. It might do a little bit longer, but I'm getting a little bit of the chorizo oil dribbling down the mug, the cheese coming out. Oh, oh my God. Another 30 seconds. I was sent this recipe to try, but the only problem I've got is I don't actually know if the base is done. So I'm gonna overdo it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that middle bit still isn't melted though. I want more. I want more meltage. So we're on to just up to about two and a half minutes now. 
<laughs> right. We're gonna try this. All right, so let's uh, give this a try. I'm gonna go right down. Oh, let's get the crust up. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, wow, that is actually a, I think it's more of a cake, but the base has worked. We always tell a good pizza by a cheese pull as well. <laughs> All right, you have my attention. You have my attention. So on this fork here, I have the perfect combo of cheese, mushrooms, chorizo, and the base. And the tomato, of course, all in there, spun in there, look at that. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> Please don't burn your mouth. Oh, that is so warm. It just, oh, it felt like I was eating a fire. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really, really nice. I know it doesn't look very appetizing. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty bad. But you've got the warm cheese, You've got the, the base and just this amazing cheese ball going on. All the flavors are mingled together and using chorizo, the oils have released in there. Hot, <laughs> but hot though. Ooh. Okay, the bit at the bottom is positively nuclear. Wow. But do you know what, little Boston and uh, big Boston? You know what guys? I think that's a pass, do you? Cool. So the next time someone comes around for afternoon tea and you want to surprise them, yep, definitely gets hotter at the bottom. Why not make a pizza in a mug? And my favorite pizza is a barbecue one. So you can get some ready cooked chicken, barbecue sauce, a little bit of peppers on there. Mm, I'm going to try that. If you do try it, tag me in your pictures at my virgin kitchen. Love to see your attempts. Remember to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. And I'll see you again next time. Oh, it's good. Sorry about the shorter video today. I'm just trying out this lens, as I say. I think he did all right. Not really that I know what I'm doing anyway.